All right, folks, the deck is Exodia Warrior. The goal of the deck is to use recruit mechanics like Gather Your Party and Woe Cleaver to pull Rivendare War Rider and the other Horsemen of the Apocalypse from our deck into play, get them killed through Provoke or Shield Slam, and if we happen to draw them, we also have the Boom Ship that allows us to play them from hand and give them rush so that we can immediately kill them. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! Know your place. Um... Venthyr. Unfortunately, they do have a transform a card if they're speaking. unholy. So hopefully they're not unholy, and or hopefully they use it on their own stuff. Ah, ah, I see you now I guess uh, patchwork is the concern. I grant you permission to speak. My warmest greetings to you. It's always Frost. I think Frost is the least likely to be Renathal. So I think it's possibly Unholy, but more likely to be um, Blood in the wild. My blood for the Lich King. This is probably better for me than Unholy, just because there's a failure rate associated with uh, Patchwork. And there's only one copy of Patchwork versus, uh, well, plus Mutanus, but Mutanus is easier to play around. The strength is to be found in Serenity. Is that a uh, Renathal quote? Yeah. Thank you, I think so. A boom ship. Good. Next turn, I'm just gonna coin the Gather Your Party. The Citadel stands strong! What is a deck that beats Secret Mage? Um, I think even Death Knight does pretty well into it. Even Shaman probably does well into it. There are quite a few decks. I would check. I guess a good time for it. They... Most um, I would check the latest DS report. That might give you some good direction to go. Not much has changed since then that would uh, flip to any matchups or anything. Uh, I don't think I actually need to kill that, do I? Like, they, they're blood, so they're not running Dark Transformation. They could maybe... So I do have to worry about Mutanus, it would seem. But... Bran plus Patchwork. I think that, like, if we're assuming that Bran into Patchwork is happening, I need to be comboing before then, you know? So. Like, I don't think that's that big of a concern. Well met. Kara Abbott became a tier one member. Hey, thank you, uh, Kara. Well met. Lassa Sognis became a super fan member. Uh-oh. I'm gonna mute this for a moment. It looks like the daily rollover is happening for uh, members. Thank you, everybody, for the well free met. membership, though. Pillow became a tier one member. All right. Um. No force on Azeroth can stop me. Let's just get rid of this weapon. It doesn't seem that important. We want to put more damage on our. Uh, maybe I should have swung just because of what. I don't know. Like, damage doesn't seem to be the thing that's important in this situation. And it's not Reno, so no Zeph. Weirdness to worry about, I would think. They did get a card off of Vizier. Like, again, if they're thinking hard about the interaction, that would be something that would be prioritized. Uh, Dark Transformation would be, rather. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. I know he's gonna kill him up himself, so. Blamo!
Uh, she I have a backup of, so I don't want to waste cards uh, trying to remove her. Nor do I want to play... Maybe I should have played this from hand, just to play around Mutanus. That actually would have been the play. That was dumb. Get the uh, non-redundant ones in play, rather than on board. Who knows what secrets will a can spell? Uh, looking for the dark transformation, Anybody? maybe? But that takes the brand out of the picture. And then I can just uh, minefield to clean up next turn. Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! It's actually better for me. Uh, yeah, silence only matters on the last one. Unstoppable! Job done. So I just need the last fella. And I probably want to go Flesh Behemoth first. Because right now, Patchwork is a 50-50 in my deck. <laughs> That's fine. I don't have anything game breaking. Honestly, they don't know it, but this is probably the one that I want the most. They took the commencement, which is like from their perspective does make sense. Plot twist, patchwork, plus Zola. I mean, at this stage, a singular patchwork is probably all that is needed, so I just need to uh, figure out a way to... Okay, 50-50. We did it. Oof. Why not just boom ship? I must protect for one. Let your penance begin. Okay. You can just go ribbon there into uh woke cleaver pulls. The only thing that makes sense is if they have a, those taunt minions in hand. Otherwise, they're just making nonsense plays. But if they do, we have the Blade Storm. You cannot crack my okay. Makes a little bit more sense. Still not sure that it's worth, but. Like, it looks like a due process deck, right? So I'm going to dump cards where I can. You cannot crack my it's a bit of a punish. Hey, welcome, Dominic. Read that. Look for a shield block. Alright, I mean, we just challenge it with the War Rider next turn. I really need them to play, like, a bio project or something. I 
hope they don't out armor out of range of our combo. That's not at all how that works. They were just dumping cards themselves. I should have actually just swung with the weapon, right? Like, the concern is uh, overdrawing the pieces at this point, but... So we assume that was intentional? I mean, it could have been, right? Just to get the solar eclipse out of hand. It could have also been, easily been an upsie, I don't know. This death rattle goes off first in a poison seed situation, so this will still summon one of the uh, the horsemen. of the pieces. Uh, I just need a way to kill them with the boom ship. But I also just get a lot of cards out of hand with the boom ship next turn. Most likely horseman to become a farmer. More grain, of course. <laughs> Could be the infinite mana turn, but... Shield slam, it's over. Oh. I mean, that was just their best attempt at not losing to the combo here, right? I'm trying to immediately mill it. This order could have kept Divine Shield. I don't want Divine Shield, though. I wanted it to be easier to kill. Thanks, though. Let 
Let your penance begin. All right. I think I just want the recruit effects where I can find it. Technically, Flesh Behemoth is a recruit effect, but not a very inexpensive one. Hmm. Is this Tog Druid? I think that's the only time you ever see a resizing pouch, so that's probably bad for me. Just keep our hand size low. Not that I think that it matters too much, but I don't know, it's probably our best chance. Yeah. They're going for zero mana spells. I think it's just like uh hog miracle druid. I just want to get this in play as early as I can, which is uh, next turn. Tonight, a tale of terrible tragedy. Oh, they whiffed. It's a pretty rough one in three. I think they run Yogg. Almost certainly not, no. They win the game as soon as they stick an Auctioneer, usually. Exact wrong card to draw there. Now that said, what I can do now that I drew it is hold it until after the Tog turn and then play it either going into or immediately following. Or I can simply kill them, I guess. That works too. Why not just punch the opponent directly for lethal? Um, because this is more fun. And also, I'm too busy, according to chat, uh, using chat as a punching bag. Since this is a job, would chat trying to tilt you be considered a hostile work environment? I mean, I suppose so, but that would require, like, me to consider chat my coworker, which they're not. Awesome day Z, thank you for the super chat. Why you take your chat frustrations from your opponent, Sag, I know. I know, that's, that's the real toxic behavior. Didn't miss lethal, you needed two more horsemen? Yeah, that's what I thought, but the way they were describing it seemed to indicate that maybe I could. I don't know. I wasn't clear on what they were saying. Uh, unfortunately, this is just like 
probably another auto loss. Because of the uh, disruption that is common armor, among uh, Chatter Shamans. Jeez, this is a really rough set of draws. And a pretty bad outcome, but... To use these to my advantage, I suppose. But again, just not at all a good matchup unless they do something silly with like a dirty route. Here, we'll give them a target for their inevitable sticky finger before we play the uh, woke cleaver. I don't want to. Um, play the woke lever out just yet because that leaves me weak to devolve. Let's stash that Is this the same opponent as before? Because <laughs> it kind of looks like it. The one that uh, hexed me earlier. Guess that answers that. Check under your recent players. I do not know what the opponent's name is, though. Surely that was their only Hex card, right? Yeah, but we also saw a Devolve last time. So. Blammo. There's no uh, Countess Ashmore in this deck because she would break the recruit mechanics. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. There's no disruption in there. I wake once more. Yet. That's the rush guy, right? again for THR free money. Thank you, SB, for the, uh, the super chat and for giving me the free money. All right. The reason I want to set this up is so that I can go here, here, uh, brawl next turn, potentially. Or I could draw something that helps me kill this. That should be it. GG. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, they both have rushed. I 
I panicked over here. What if they have Mutantis? I mean, that's always going to be bad for me, right? Like, having... Then it's a 50-50 instead of a 1-3. I mean, this is all good removal stuff for Shaman. Rough draw? I think our draw was good. Our, just re our recruits were bad. Except that last turn, the draw was bad. Oh god. I, uh, <sighs> I'm not looking forward to another game against Shaman. still do like this is still not good they're still gonna have devolves i don't know how to deal with this other than just like rip the band-aid off next turn hope that i hit a flesh behemoth good start Just don't be the bad outcome, please. Do I swing into... Devolves? I have a choice. They've had Devolve opportunities already. I think I hold the weapon swing for a turn. Uh, matters because we have a flash behemoth in there as well. I have little time. That wasn't guaranteed. This is better. Miserable to lose to a singular card that is. Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Quinn, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Ali Alkali, Cathandrian, Nate Drex, Saga, 
Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Twin Emperor Vecanlash.